81 years ago on this night, members of the U.S. military went to bed not expecting a surprise attack at Pearl Harbor the next day. And tonight we're hearing from a Reading woman whose mother was there on that day. 69 News reporter Jack Reinhardt has that. Winifred Wall's mother, Teresa Stauffer Foster of Lancaster County, was an Army Corps nurse stationed in Hawaii. In her free time, her mother always had a camera in hand, this video taken by her there. Wall tells us her mother, a graduate of Lancaster Catholic High School and St. Joseph's Nursing School, was scheduled for night duty on December 7, 1941, but was out in the gardens before her shift. They were just enjoying themselves before they went back to the um, dormitory to rest. Then she received news she and others weren't expecting. For her, she was notified by somebody on horseback that the attack was happening. A surprise attack launched by Japan on Pearl Harbor. Some of our other nurses were looking out over the horizon and see these planes fly right over their heads. Wall says her mother and the other nurses rushed to their duty stations. For Foster, that was the Trepler Army Medical Center where she would work in the obstetrics ward. That's where she was taking care of two babies who were born that day amid the unthinkable. You got that old yin and yang effect that you talk about. Every time there's something sad, you look to balance it out with something nice. And that's what happened in that case. Foster worked for a day and a half straight. The attack on Pearl Harbor left more than 2,000 Americans dead. And Wall says those on the island didn't think it was over. Everything was still blacked out. The lights were turned off. The nurses were using flashlights. They were still thinking that there was going to be a second attack coming. Foster would serve two years in the military before coming home. Wall tells us her mother was quiet about her experiences in Hawaii until 1991, the 50th anniversary of the attack. Foster went back to the hospital she was at in Hawaii to visit, where she was welcomed with open arms, driving around the island in the general's car and enjoying a nice dinner, before she was given this plaque by the general as her grandson looked on. And he looks at it and he thinks, oh my goodness, this is not my grandmother anymore, this is a war hero. Jack Reinhardt, 69 News.